So I'm here at uh, Myra Falls today and uh, I'm come, I've come here with uh, friend Gavin. He's having a little trouble on the ice. <laughs> oh shit, <are> you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Right, if you're a regular visitor to my YouTube channel, uh, I may have you kind of believe that uh, every location I go to is absolutely fantastic and uh, everything I point my camera at is golden. <laughs> the, the truth of the matter is, is that uh, there are many trips or many occasions that I've recorded or videotaped that you haven't seen. Uh, just because it just doesn't work out very good at all and it probably wouldn't make very interesting content. If you've been watching my videos lately, I've been hanging out with Gavin Hardcastle quite a bit and if you follow his videos on his channel, you may have watched a, a video about us going into uh, a coastal area where there was a cave and uh, some waterfalls. Now that was Gavin's version, but now I'm going to give you my version. <laughs> Actually, there was nothing wrong with uh, Gavin's version, or there was nothing sinister about it either. I, uh, I just wanted to put that sinister laugh in there. It never ceases to amaze me the lengths that we go to as photographers just to take a couple of images. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing really well. Okay, now, if you've watched my videos from the very beginning, you may recall I did a video on Vancouver Island where I came to a, a cave and I was talking about coming back here one day and, and photographing that cave because it has a waterfall. Well, actually, it has two waterfalls. Well, Gavin and I decided that we were going to come out and photograph this cave. Uh, I checked the tides, low tide, and Gavin said he had a, a ladder. Now, when he said he had a ladder, I thought he meant he had a, like a rope ladder or a wire ladder, <laughs> but we ended up bringing like a, an aluminum step ladder. <laughs> so it would have worked okay. Uh, I have a climbing rope and a bunch of slings and carabiners, so we were just going to tie off the ladder and climb down to the cave. But even though it's low tide, uh, it's still pretty high and it's looking really dangerous. So uh, I don't think we're going to be going down there today, we're going to have to leave it for another day. The waterfalls are just raging right now, it looks really nice but it's super dangerous so yeah, uh, well I'm not going down there that's for sure. One of the great things that I did discover on this trip was uh, just how agile uh, Gavin is, for such a portly fellow too. Okay, so the caves turned out to be a dud. So what do you do from there? Well, we decided to go to another location not too far from there, uh, Avatar Grove, which is an old growth forest, and I've, I've taken a couple of videos in that grove. But again, uh, the conditions were just not that great, and uh, all I ended up getting was um, uh, video footage of myself and Gavin walking up and down the boardwalks. So Port Renfrew was a bit of a dud and then from there we decided to drive home and the next day we drove another three hours all the way up to Strathcona Provincial Park to go and check out an area called Cast Creek, which I've done a video about as well. So we got to Cast Creek, all prepared to photograph this lovely stream, 
and wouldn't you know it the whole stream was just dried right up <laughs> it was very disappointing i did get to use the um <coughs> facilities though so in desperation we ended up going to another location that i photographed not that long ago actually myra falls and luckily things were starting to go our way a little really quite funny so I come all this way out to Strathcona Provincial Park to photograph a waterfall and uh, I end up being attracted by something quite different than the waterfall and that's uh, something at the bottom of my feet and I'll just show you what it is there we go there's a really great ice pattern and I'm sure I can get something out of this get some nice abstract kind of uh, designs out of this okay so the composition that I've got so far and I'm having a bit of a trouble with um, reflections here um, I, I've tried putting a polarizer on this but uh, it doesn't do anything so what I'm, I'm having to do is cast kind of my uh, shadow over it to try and cut down on the reflections most of the reflections are coming from the sky above so uh, you know it's a, a little bit difficult polarizer doesn't really do much because the reflections aren't coming from a 90 degree angle um, so I just keep very vary, varying my uh, my shadow over this pattern I really love these um, these curves here but I'm not sure if it might be too far from this end um, I've cut off this circle here because I'm not sure if it's necessary or not so I'm going to do a bunch of different variations of this um, you know with abstracts it's somewhat difficult because it it's all about balance and trying to balance one side of the photograph to the other uh, as I keep looking at this I'm thinking that maybe I should include the whole uh, circular uh, part here in the corner and then and that way if I do that it'll shift this really nice curvy bit over to the corner up here so why don't I do that and then um, I'll show you the, the ones that I think are, are probably the best out of the bunch. Anyway, it's a really, really neat abstract. I, I love it. drone images uh, I think they might be okay but when I was uh, taking the drone footage I noticed that uh, there's quite a bit of ice up on the upper falls here and it's really quite beautiful so I managed to scramble up here and uh, you'll notice there's all this uh, kind of ice on the on the rocks here quite dangerous to walk on but to photograph it's just beautiful so I have a composition here that I quite like and I'll, I'll show it to you it involves this, uh, this log here that's just covered in all this frost and then we have the main waterfall and then just across the, uh, the river here 
We have these trees and they're just frosted. Uh, it's just, it's really, really nice. So let me show you my composition and, uh, and we'll go from there. All right, now this should work quite well. Now, when I first got up here, I saw this log and I thought, ah, don't really like the log. But now that I've, I've put it in the frame, it, it uh, works really quite well, I think. Because it's on a diagonal and it's quite bright, uh, it draws your eye up to this side of the frame and then up to the waterfall. And I've included a little bit of, of this waterfall over here as well. I'm not sure, I might crop that out, I'm not sure yet, I'll just darken it down. Because the main subject for me are these, these frosted rocks here, this frosted rock, and then of course we have the waterfall in the background. But yeah, I think, I think it'll work quite well. Uh, the only thing that I'm not sure about, and I don't know if I can get it any higher, is this rock here is kind of blocking the, the, uh, the flow of the, the river. Um, but I'll see if I can get up higher and get a shot looking down on it more with the river behind it. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I think this will work quite well. Back to the car well that wasn't really the trip that we had planned but uh, it wasn't too bad uh, Myra Falls is it's quite pretty the problem with Myra Falls is that uh, you, you're, you're quite limited in in the direction that you can take your photography you know you're, you're, you're looking at the falls directly at pretty much the same angles every time like you can't get on the other side very easily uh, there's no way I'm going to jump across this time of year, especially with all that ice. So your options are a little bit limited, but beautiful no nonetheless, especially with the icicles in there. So as always, if you enjoyed my video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the content of my channel, don't forget to subscribe. All right, everybody. Thanks ever so much. And I will see you hopefully next week. Okay, bye.